guys, Crew Blind Wave back. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we are back with Daredevil Season 3. It's yeah. been so long. So yeah. long since Daredevil. Yep. So long since Defenders. Yep. Yeah. That was the last time we saw Daredevil. Yep. Yeah. He fell under Midland Circle and he the what? building fell on him. He what? He fell. He fell. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then the uh, last time we saw him was like a woman. It was like, oh. uh, and you know. A, they sister, said right? Maggie. Maggie. They said Maggie. Did that, say Maggie, which is Daredevil's mom's name. I'm gonna yeah. say it's his mom. There's gonna be a mom story here. Maybe. Yeah. But he's been missing since. He has been missing since. Um, Iron Fist has been trying to carry the torch. Yep. In uh, Hell's Kitchen. Chinatown. Yep. That's and then we, yeah, and we've had Luke Cage. We've had Jessica Jones episodes. <laughs> um, but when it comes specifically to, to Matt, nobody else knows that he's still alive. Um, I'm gonna guess we might have some kind of time jump in here, but maybe no. What was that? What the fuck was Jeez. that? There it was here. I can, I can sense it. Uh -huh. uh, no. Also, uh, we do know that, you know, since we finished Iron Fist, now they've canceled Luke Cage and stuff like that. But we're still going strong in the Marvel Netflix series, guys. A lot of people have come in and been like, why do you guys even bother? It's like, dude, we love These this are amazing. stuff. We love this stuff. Yeah. Well, I, like, and, I like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and this all ties into part of it, even mm -hmm. though they don't necessarily tie into it all. But They don't like, include it in the Cinematic Universe, but it's still yeah. there. But maybe I mean, they, they were with the new uh, the new stuff with uh, yeah. Disney streaming service with like Loki and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, guys, remember this is the first episode of a new season. Okay. What does that mean, Aaron? That we get to watch it. Yep. And you get to watch it yep. oh! because uh, some of the bonuses we have for uh, supporters over at Patreon are mm -hmm. like early access and our polls, but also full length. And for the first episode of every season, we always have full length available to everyone, whether you're a patron or not, mm -hmm. which you can see down in the description below. Yeah. Yep. All right. So you can see that. We're going to see this, and we're going to get started by hitting that. Ow. <gasps> I love that sound. Why? You know what else I love? Your job. <laughs> Oh no! Calvin! Resist. Oh, that was cool. Holy shit! Oh, he's underwater. Okay. <coughs> what happened to Electra? I liked how it was like an upside down cross look. Dang it, Eric! You wrote up. You like that movie? Uh, I like it. There's little balloons. Okay, so he gets washed out. That's not why. <laughs> oh no, oh fuck! Electra, do you have trouble hearing? Is his hearing fucked up? Yeah. My right ear. Ah, oh, my right ear. <laughs> Equilibrium. This is a life I don't want you to live, Matt. <laughs> Me too. Blue, 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 blue. Just stop these, it! All, all of these work. No, they don't. Put your pin away. That's a weapon. Put your finger away. It's, it's annoying. It's a weapon. <laughs> Do you agree with me now? No, I just want him to hurt. <laughs> you kids. <laughs> Same as you. This is Matt's apartment, right? 6A? 6A? Yep. Stop. 6A. I'll take you sexy. You're extra Aaron today. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I <know. laughs> You're like, I know, I'm sorry. I have energy. <laughs> yeah? She becomes Darer Devil. I just needed. He's your friend, and you cared for him, and you broke your trust. Yeah, I'll stop agreeing with me. It's making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get your drink? <laughs> and you know, I nodded. <laughs> <laughs> Foggy! Oh, yeah. Love his haircut. I do too. Surprise. Oh, shit! But hmm. so when you asked me to help you move boxes. Uh, yeah, I lied. I mean, technically it was more of like a, like a ruse. <laughs> gotcha. A ruse. You rused. Mm. Journalism has changed you, Paige. Oh, no. God, no. I, I'm just paying the bills or some of them until uh. Matt gets back. But, um,. Until Mac gets back. Gets back. Is he in a wheelchair? He can't smell either? Mm -mm. Fuck. All his senses are fucked. You get knocked in the head again. Maggie's gonna smack him. Like that? No. I can always turn a deaf ear to it. 
Ah. It's a real thing. You can do that. Watch. Perfect. Eric. Eric, I'm gonna make a joke. Matthew. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you turned. You turned. That ear hole is smaller than the other one. How do you, how, how do you, you compare? I stuck my finger in both of your ears. Okay. You guys are weird. Warriors were meant to be alone. Then caring for people would make me weak. Stick. Stuff like he needed to get laid. Explains <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Yes, he did. You know what I realized? Joe was a pussy. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See, that was May's sister. Isn't this Fisk's mother? Ooh! Oh, oh fuck! Shit! That's what he imagined <laughs> in his mind? Yeah! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna say the omelet. So what's it look like, really? This is sunny side up. Quiet! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Thank God it's he's just back. just a uh -huh. plain egg with nothing. Reminds me of when all the coyotes and stuff were going crazy. And hey, the wolf that our neighbor oh, had. Oh dang, what's he doing here? Donovan, he's his lawyer. I'm so glad the king thing's back. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after playing Spider-Man. He's like trying to go. Oh, oh fuck! Man, that's right on your shin. Good. Device used to find coffee tables in the dark. Oh, is he gonna do it? Oh, with cold water? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, man. man. Fuck, get that shit out of there. Oh. <laughs> oh. All that blood in there still, dang. Yeah. Wait, did it clear? He's feeling vibrations. He's got one sense left. <laughs> Touch. Oh, shit. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. He can sense where everything is through the vibrations in the floor. So he's gonna run straight into that statue. That's that thing. Oh, he's on top of it now. Oh, I love this shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, fuck, I wanna do those. You gotta do a push up first, Calvin. I do do push ups. <laughs> he's training with weight. Now he's making a punchy bag. Oh. Yes. Oh! Oh, fuck. Your hips, your spine. Oh, still, up. still healing. You're Murdoch, you Matt. You you back up. He's gonna punch through this bag, isn't he? What in God's name? Feel that? Feel what? Three subway lines run beneath us. Brought <laughs> food. He, what? These ravioli from Nona's. Did his senses, maybe his, it did get all that blood out and he can smell. I mean, he said all I can oh, smell. Oh, man, he's smoked up again. I'm not comfortable with that idea. He's missing it. <laughs> he's missing the bag. Dude, Charlie Cox is so good. He's yeah. doing this without looking. Yeah. Whoa, the head movement. It. Is this all without his ear? Just vibration? He said that he needed to hear everything. I think it's just slowly coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there it, it was. Is. There it is. It's right here. He lost it. Yep. You know, if he could learn to do it like this and then get back to where he was, he would be even better. Oh, shit. Watch bad. his head. Watch his head. Oh, damn, that's okay. What are you doing, Matt? What a great shot, but what are you doing? Watch your ear, man. Watch your ear. Oh! Haha, <laughs> you're breaking your own van. I love the season one suit return. Yes, me too. <laughs> Dang, that's a hard kick. Whoa, that was okay. cool. That was good. Oh, oh shit! I've seen somebody in Road Rage do that. Can't get his ass handed Damn to him now. Damn it. Yep. Here goes the muffling. Here it comes.
got a fever. Man. man, that car is slow. Can't die as Daredevil. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Who are these people? Anyway, tonight we celebrate. I think a villain in the making. Something's happening here or something. Maybe. Cheers. Cheers. Maybe Cheers. future Cheers. clients Cheers. of Matt. I could be at his house glow bowling in his basement right now. Glow bowling. Thomas says I have a bowling alley in their basement. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Come on, kid, get out of here. That was a government seal, yeah, wasn't it? Was FBI. FBI, shit. Oh, yeah. shit. Maybe he's just a, he's not a, I don't know. He's an agent? Is he needing more I, money? I, I, nice timing. It's a shit, Aaron. I get it. We talk to this guy every month, and every month he gives us nothing. It's a nice drive, though. Oh, Fisk? Mm. Oh, dude. Maybe. And he recruits him? Shit. They give him money, then he's on a risk. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's such a backward system. But they're, they're protecting themselves first. Ah, oh, what man. a wide man. You envy him? Mr. Fisk. So wide. Special Agent Marie Nadine with the Federal Bureau Nadine. of Investigation. Is he going to cut a deal for Vanessa? Mm-hmm. Maybe. I'll do anything to protect her. Anything. I want to make a deal. Oh, shit. Well, that might advance your career. Fuck! Dang it's over. It. I wanted more. It was slow in the best way possible for me. Like it was just like kind of like here you are. You don't this get to, you, you don't get is. too much with Foggy or Karen, you know. But you just get a lot with Matt, a little tiny bit with Fisk, and I'm just like easing back into it. Like yeah. like Matt is easing back into the Daredevil yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's but. weird having him starting from like one. You yeah. Know? yeah, like trying to relearn. But it's fun too. Like, that vibration scene was so cool. Like, him, like, discovering, like, okay, I can make this shit work with this. And then it slowly, like, you know, the sinus thing, it seems like he can smell again. He mentioned, like, I need to be able to hear everything before the boxing match. So he's, his hearing has to be there a little bit, at least in his left ear, you know? Yeah. But the ringing, he says, is really bad in the right. But, yeah, that can go away with swelling going down, like internal brain swelling, you know? Mm -hmm. You have a lot of pressure in your head. It's not nerve damage. Nerve damage is the worst thing that could happen to an ear. Yep. Why? Because <laughs> you can't fix it. <laughs> right now, with our current level of it, medical technology, we it can't. Could, I mean, is he getting his ear back some, and then it just gets gone whenever he gets hit again? I think so. I think he just he might be pushing too hard, too fast. Even though I think it's good that he's doing that, too, just for his mental stability. But then at the end, here, it seems like he wanted to die. Well, he did say he wanted to die as, as the devil instead yeah. of live Matt, as Matt, Matt Murdock. Murdock. Yeah, he's not letting Foggy or Karen know. He wants to protect them. He said that he would never lie again, and now he's lying by omission, saying that he's dead. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, I think he's wanting Matt Murdock to be dead, and Daredevil is trying to be dead too, right? Yeah. I, don't yeah. Know. I, I like what, like, the, the nun... Maggie. Like, she's like, you're such a hero hiding down here. I know. All those cowards upstairs, you know? Some of them like, worse off than you in terms of disability. Like, trying to push, cowards. Trying to push through. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love that. I yeah. mean, if she is Matt's mom or not, she certainly has the same sarcasm, because Matt does that a lot. Oh, yeah. You know? And I like that it's a little detail that she's a fan of boxing, it looks like. Yeah. She's, she changed, too, in the very beginning when she's like, we need an ambulance, take him to a hospital. And then Landon said, well, this is Matt Murdock's son. And then she's like, I made a mistake. It's Matt Murdock, Murdock, Jack Murdock's yeah. son. Yeah. Well, it may yeah. have been, too, that she didn't realize that. Well, That it was yeah. one of her own. And then once it said Matt Murdock, she remembered because she was there when he took care of him before. Because he also grew up in this orphanage. Yeah. 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 So it may have been that being a, a stipulation of it. If it was just some, yeah. you know, just, you brought a vigilante here? We can't. we got to call the police or yeah. whatever. He's like, no, we can't. And then once it's like, this is Matt Murdock. We took care of him. Yeah. Like, oh. I love how all the other nuns, too, they've all been sworn to secrecy. They all know, oh, Matt Murdock is Daredevil. But I don't doubt for a second that they'll give it up, you know? No. Just like, yep. Yeah, Man, Maggie would tear them apart. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> or yeah. make their life a living hell with all that sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. At first, I was thinking they were going to go with a uh, 
a lost faith kind of thing. You know, it's so important for Daredevil with his his uh, Catholicism. It's such yeah. an important, integral part of the character. I was like, oh, they're gonna go with a lost faith kind of thing, but they didn't really do that. You know, the, you know, he still definitely believes in God. He's just on the outs right now. Yeah. He's very disenfranchised. I like when he called Job a pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the book of Job. You know, the only, yeah, God didn't kill Job's children. No. Satan does. You know, Satan, uh, you know, is, is talking with... It's, it's, it's a weird book because I think in that book of all the books of the Bible, God and Satan are the most uncharacteristic of each of, of themselves. But, you know, they're talking and God says, look at Job. Job is my perfect servant. And Job's like, or no, and then Satan's like, oh, I, I can get him to curse your name. And God's like, oh, yeah, try. So God allows Satan to do all these yeah. things to I don't him. think Satan is uncharacteristic in that one. Because he's always yeah. trying to make deals and, and stuff yeah. like that. But God, but God let them let it happen. Yeah. He let so. it happen. And then in the end of the book, it's like, and then God gave everything back. And then I'm like, oh, except his kids. <laughs> you know, his kids die. But, you know, the idea is that despite... Or, you know, the, the moral of the story is that, you know, you're supposed to, no, no matter what God throws at you, you know, praise his name and that's what it's supposed to be, you know. Matt calls him a pussy. Like, in what regard? That he couldn't take it? Because Job could take it. Job does take it. Maybe because he, maybe, maybe because Job that, did take it. Yeah. I don't know. Like, he just, you know, bowed his head and yeah. accepted it and didn't stick up for himself. Maybe. Uh-huh. Like, he never got angry. He never said no. I, I don't know. Because Matt wants to kill himself at this point. But uh, like, what's the standard in which he calls him a pussy? I think it was a funny line. I'm just a little confused by it. Uh, yeah. I feel like it would have to be the the point of like, like he just kept going. Yeah. He, he wouldn't curse his name, whatever. And now he's talking about like seeing the true face of God. Is like, he doesn't. He just does what he wants. And yeah. He doesn't. He does not look yeah. out for his flock or sure. something like that. And Matt's like, I'm not gonna push towards being one of his soldiers. Yeah. If that's what he's gonna do, you know. Yeah. Um, Where's you know, Job? Is like, I'm just gonna follow orders. Sure. Yeah. Like if you had that in a in a like a military scenario where like your general was telling you to do these terrible terrible things and you're like well, I'll just follow orders because I'm supposed to do yeah you're it's just an, killing women and kids that have nothing to do with anything or something you know like it's it's an interesting story from the Bible because it's it's kind of the opposite of what happens with Abraham and Isaac where Abraham is told to kill his son Isaac and he's going to and then an angel stops him you know um, it's like well you're if you're willing I see that you're willing. Please, you know, don't do it now, you know. But Job, it's like, I see he's willing, and everything is taken, you know. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, I, I was just, I was kind of worried they were going to go with the lost faith thing, because, you, know, you know, I'm not a person of faith, but Matt Murdock is, and that's always been so integral to his character. So you don't think he's lost his faith? I don't think he's lost his faith, no. Because uh, he still believes, I think. I just okay. think that he's turning his back on something that he believes is real. Like, okay. like I don't think he doesn't, I don't think that he doesn't have a belief in God right now. Well, I think... I think he still believes in God. But he believes that he's not what he, what people say he is. He's seeing his true face. He's, yeah, I mean... Does that not seem like a loss of faith of, like... No. Like, the nun would be Because he like, still well, has faith in God. Does well, he, he doesn't have faith in he God? He doesn't have faith in God. He faith... Be, he believes in God, but he doesn't have faith that God is yeah. what he thought he was. It'd be like, I, I believe Trump's the president, I'm but using, I don't have faith in what he's doing yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Of, like, I wouldn't say that... No, I understand. I would just say he lost faith in... When I say loss of faith, faith, you know, in the Bible is uh, uh, the evidence of things unseen, is the biblical definition. So it's like, uh, if you don't have faith in God, that means, that would be that you don't actually, you actually don't believe that he would exist. Because faith is a reason people give for their belief. Okay. I still don't... I don't know that he's giving his faith towards God, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, in my experience, when it comes to the, when using that word in that context, faith is a matter of belief, not like a matter of like, do you think he's a good God? Well, faith and belief are different things. Because, well, y- yes, uh, belief is is the attribution to things that you can't prove, and faith is is your feeling towards those. Right? One is more emotional, and one is more logical. Uh, if you use the colloquial uh, t- way that you use faith, but if you use faith in the biblical sense, I think it's a little bit different. Like the biblical definition, the faith, the 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 evidence of things unseen. I get what you mean. Uh, you know, I, I still think that he believes God exists. He's just not aligned with uh, how he used to be aligned. Uh, I don't think that Matt is suddenly like an atheist. No, no. You know? I still I, I would still say though it's in a loss of faith type type of role that he's going into, mm-hmm. where he's not. He's not the Matt Murdock that we had before sure. that was doing this because of what he believed. Now he's 
he doesn't have yeah. any beliefs, maybe, you know? He I doesn't you. believe in any of it. I think we just disagree about the, the actual definition of the terms, but I, I agree. I like the little uh, thing they put in there about, like, well, maybe you should judge Frank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's a killer. Yeah, that that was cool. Uh, I was a little confused, like as it was happening, where exactly some of these scenes were happening, because we had we got like a flashback to him showing season the two in the, in the helmet, and then that would have been before Defenders, right? Uh, the uh, stuff talking about Frank in the in the apartment, Karen learning about his abilities, that had to have been before Defenders, because that's when Matt said, "I'm no longer Daredevil," and he had to be coaxed back into being Daredevil during well, that- Defenders. That was their devil, or that was Defenders, wasn't it? Where he like revealed that stuff to him, and then that's when Karen and Foggy had to convince him to be Daredevil again. I don't believe that scene was in Defenders. I remember that scene from somewhere. It was like maybe you should judge him. No, I don't think so. I, I feel like that was like a flashback. Yeah, like not like. I mean, it was a flashback. An, but an, yeah, an pictured think... flashback. I think it. I think it was in. An episode at one point. So you're saying that that scene was in Defenders, and now we're seeing... Not necessarily Defenders. I can't remember exactly where it was, but I do remember that scene. It would have to be in Defenders, because the last episode of Season 2 is uh, when when he he shows the the mask. Okay. Well, I I guess it would have to be. Yeah, but I I can't remember a specific scene in that. But but even even still, that would take place before or around Defenders. Um, And then I I suppose the, the foggy and... Karen stuff in Matt's apartment is concurrent with what yeah. we're seeing with Matt now. It's like where they are now. Yeah, it's been a month. It seems like it's yeah. been a well. I don't know amount. exactly how long it's been. It seems like she's been paying the bills for a little bit, and she's yeah. behind by a month. So I would assume it's been at least a month, sure. given that kind of information. But Did, wait, yeah, didn't she say something that she she had floated two months, and then she needed help this one because she's a little behind? I don't remember any of that. I just remember she said I'm behind a month. Mm-hmm. And Foggy said he would pay. One more month. Yeah. She said something about floating two months, if I'm understanding that correctly. Yeah. Um, do you think Electra's alive? I don't think she would factor her into the season, but I just wonder, like, generally, do you think she's alive? She's just as tough as Matt, I think. Yeah. I don't know how Matt lived. I mean, I feel like... through water. I don't know what happened. I don't I know mean, how he got to the water, you know what I mean? Like, There's lots of, like, underground lakes and stuff like that, and we know that sometimes they have flow into other... Like, especially that close to, say, the ocean. Mm -hmm. You know, there might be some kind of thing where he got collapsed down and the the roof of the lake collapsed and he flowed into the ocean and got washed up on the bank. Yeah. That kind of thing. I mean, a lot of people say Matt Murdock's real superhero ability is being able to be completely beaten and getting back up, you know? Yeah. So I I guess if anybody... Jack's power, too. (laughs) Yeah, I guess if anybody's able to survive it, it's going to be Matt Murdock. Luckily, that cabbie, you know, was just like, yeah, okay, sure. I'll take you to the... And wasn't like, you place. idiot, 911. Yeah, Hell's Kitchen protects its own, mm-hmm. takes care of its own, so, you know, he wouldn't want the police to get a hold of him. Yeah. I like that Makes little sense. thing they put in there about the Hell's Kitchen protects its own thing when they were talking about how a, a pipe bursts in a mosque. And, the, on and that's Street, why he was yeah. hearing Arabic, because they were letting him use her space. It was yeah. cool. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she was the one that dropped him off there. Um, I mean, she dumped him in the trash, though. <laughs> yeah. I really... I I, I, there was a one part in the fight uh, with the, the, the cleaners or whatever it was. It was like a van like with like laundry in it or something, right? Is that yeah, what the plastic was? But whenever the one guy, he goes to kick the back of the van to like... To jam to, him to in the door? Him, you yeah. know? I was like, that's a, that's a risky move. And Matt just blocks it. Yeah. It was just a cool the door. movement. Yeah. I just... Like, there's part of me that was like... Would that really have done much damage? But I mean, maybe it, would, it would have, you know. If you get it moving, like, yeah. the edge of that door where it meets the other panel is kind yeah. of sharp. I know that some vans have, like, kind of, like, a resistance. You can't, like, slam them, you right. know? But that was just but a, I guess a that panel was just van. a panel van, so. Not like a, a passenger It's just a really van. cool, like, piece of choreography that you have to be like, what the hell can we do with the van? I don't know, I can like, uh, kick the back and try to... It kind of works, too, because it was also, like, there was a distance between them, mm-hmm. and he was still kind of recovering, yeah. so... That was the first thing to do to try yeah. to like close in the distance. Mm-hmm. There's always the thing about like, well, you know, when we like when we do lightsaber fights, it's like, okay, well, what are you attacking with? Yeah, you don't want to attack with an elbow when you're standing too far apart. Sure, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, so yeah. you want to attack with what you have. So I liked it. And I, I really like the the punch into the mirror of the van. Oh, punching the guy into the yeah. mirror. Yeah. yeah, that was great too. I was very confused when we suddenly went to this other family. Yeah, uh, Ray Nadim. I was as well. 
I wasn't sure. Like, where are we going with this? My thought was like, maybe it's going to be some kind of villain thing yeah. being made. Then he got a gun. I was like, what's he going to do? Some kind of like stock guy. Like, you can't just go with no mask, you know, just rob stuff and be fine. Yeah. And he's just an agent. Yeah. But it may be leading into, does he get hired by Fisk? I mean, or if he's that vulnerable, does, then yeah. See, the idea that we were talking about was like, it doesn't make, okay. He's too much of a risk because he has all this debt. He could be bought. But we can't help you get more money to get out of debt. Yeah. So now his options of getting money to get out of debt is to be bought. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of silly in the way of, like, oh, well, here, but let's do this. That way you have yeah. more, it's a really, you have it's more a really stability It's a really stupid, now. cyclical well, reasoning. It, it, it definitely sucks, but the idea is that you're never put in that position because you do make enough money to live, which he did. You see his house... The plans for the pool, all that stuff. But that is not designed to coincide with Medical the absolute work. loss of your financial, you know, everything when it when it comes to cancer, you know? Yeah. Um, when they were saying, too, that uh, insurance and stuff wasn't covering. Nothing was covering, which, you know, insurance does cover a lot of that stuff, um, but not everything. And it, it might also depend on, like what insurance company you have. Yeah. Uh, the way they were talking, it sounded like insurance wasn't covering like any other Anything, yeah. yeah. So someone was going on with it. Uh, it was his sister-in-law, too, so it was yeah. his brother's wife. It just sucks, you know. We've talked about like organizations around here like Firefly mm -hmm. that, you know, some people have nothing. They can't even like keep the electricity on, you know. Yeah, or their let gas alone, on. Let alone, you know, the $2 million in debt, <laughs> depending yeah. on what you got. So I, I instantly felt... You know, felt bad for the guy, which is, you know, generally whenever you're like, okay, I sympathize now, that person is going to be someone that you want to root for. So is he going to become like a villain or is it going to be kind of like someone fist controls but doesn't want to? Maybe this can be like a potential daredevil ally and a kingpin ally. Maybe. I don't like know. A, a triple agent kind of thing. Yeah. You know, just talking about Fisk real quick. I mean, we, we hadn't seen any trailers for this, which... A lot of people were pissed about. Like, when the trailer came out for Daredevil, people were like, why didn't you guys know the trailer? It's like, well, it's coming out so soon. I don't want to. Yeah. And... I like, like, I like not... I don't have any idea of, like, who the villain may be. Yeah. Or what's to come. Yeah. Like, sometimes, like, watching trailers, I'll be like, okay, well, you know, we got Kilgrave. Yeah. You know, we got, okay, well, Jessica's going to be having to save mm -hmm. this person. I haven't seen that yet, so, so she's, she's going to be fine. Yeah. But, but I have no stipulation. La like, none could die next episode. I have no idea. I know. You know what I mean? I'm like, just... I'm so excited because last season we had, like an episode or two with Fisk, you know, just a couple moments, yeah, like later in the season. This is season episode one, Fisk. Yeah. So I'm hoping that he's a big part of the season because um, I love the way Vince D'Onofrio plays it. Mm -hmm. He's like classic comic book Fisk, the way he talks yeah. and the way they shoot him and stuff too. He's so character. much bigger. Like Nadine was kind of like back like this, you know, in his yeah. chair. And Fisk was so high, like the level of the, of the camera shot was, he took off like three quarters... Just the back of his head, and then yeah. Nadim's like down here. I love how they shoot him so much. Even though like the offer is a big guy, he's not. But he's like, honestly, he's like me. He's not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. He's he's your size, yeah. basically. So I think he is like six just, two, six I just, three. I love the way they shoot him, but he's just a large, bald man. I just the, the one thing I'm disappointed in is that uh, wasn't it? Whenever he showed up in was it Daredevil season two, and he had a white jumpsuit on. Mm -hmm. I think that was Punisher, wasn't it? Uh, no, I think it was Daredevil. Uh, Frank was out by the time that happened. Because it was like Matt was his lawyer and stuff, you know, uh, when he was in prison. But he, I think he was wearing like a white jumpsuit in that scene, you know, because oh, so, it has that classic white suit. Yeah. So. Was, uh, in Daredevil season two, I think it was when they had their meeting with Frank, wasn't it? Yeah. And then we even, yeah, we even had that Punisher versus Kingpin fight, you know? Yeah. It was so awesome. I enjoyed Karen, like, learning the truth. Yeah. Segment and stuff, and like her nodding and being like, <laughs> he knows I nodded, okay. Yeah, I like how um, uncomfortable. But like she has that feeling that he's not dead. Yeah, she has a feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and then also just like seeing Foggy with like his guilt, like he, he blames himself for bringing that. He's like, I should have brought him sweatpants. Yeah. So I, I like being able to see like how it's affecting other people, him mm -hmm. not being there too. So it's good. Yeah. I mean, like, the Karen thing, like she feels like it's like he's not dead. Foggy even said that like it's the first time I even said that he was dead, you know, even though I think he believes it. He hasn't come out and say it, so yeah. there might be something there, too, that he thinks that, well, maybe. I don't know. Because obviously they wouldn't have found a body or anything. Nope, no body, no nothing. Yeah. He's still alive, but he wants to die. All right, well, I think this creates a, uh, an excellent foundation for a season, because I have no idea where it's going to go. I think it's, it's a solid go. first episode to be able yeah. to, like, take us into some direction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially, I I'm really curious to see what they do with Fisk. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. All right, but unfortunately, we have to wait a week. Damn. 
But um, but, for, but fortunately for you guys, you don't have to wait a week if you want to check out uh, our videos in early access. Just go to patreoncom blindwave or click that button, and you can watch it right now. Craziness, right? Oh. <laughs>